Hi, I'm Brad Kenny with your Taco Tuesday tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about making crunchy taco shells with any type of tortilla. We're going to start out with a wrap. This particular one is a spinach wrap. It's very light and we're going to make that into a crunchy taco. Our second shell for the day is, since it is football season, this football shaped corn tortilla, which is really thick. It's actually referred to as a Haracha's white corn, corn tortilla. It's very thick, it takes a little bit longer to cook, but it's a monster. Real teeth breaker if you make it as a chip. And for our third, a very unusual, first time ever that I've actually ever seen it, Special Market at the Street, Northgate, sells them. These are cactus tortillas made literally with 50% cactus according to the Tortilleria chef. And we are going to make that into a crunchy shell. And we're going to call that a cactus taco. And of course, we're going to use a cactus apple for garnish and make that nice and crunchy. So for starters, I'm going to take this shell here. I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to take a standard paper towel with standard water. And I'm going to moisten it because this one here, I'm going to give a little bit of flavor to. And the other two, I'm going to leave as is. So in this particular case, I'm going to take some of my favorite spice, which in this case is some Slap Your Mama, and I'm going to just put a little bit on top, like that, and we are ready to go. We're going to start off here with the two green tortillas, and Dr. Seuss thought he had something with his green eggs and ham. Watch this. Open it up, and with our Taco Tascos ready to go, we're actually just going to use two for now. We'll lay our tortillas on top. And we are ready to go. Two tortillas, two minutes. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. Ah, perfect. Here's our cactus taco. They're looking good. Look at how crunchy and crispy that is. And look at this spinach shell. Crack. Lovely. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cook this monster. And if you take a look, this is about a, this is almost a quarter of an inch thick. It feels like it weighs about a pound, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna start off at two minutes. Now this is two minutes, and I'm thinking it's probably gonna go more like three minutes. But if you were to use little street tacos like these here, they may take 30 to 45 seconds a piece. So it's always going to vary depending on the thickness and size. But let's give it a try at two minutes and see where we end up. With the seasoned side out, I'm going to set it here on the center. And let it rip. Okay, it turns out that we had to add actually not just one minute, but a minute and 30 seconds. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. I think we're going to have to call this one the Mucho Macho Horacho Taco Tastico. That's an appropriate name. Okay, for starters, we're going to start off with the spinach wrap. Each one of these today are just going to get plain rotisserie chicken. We got the standard grocery store, and just, just shred, and it's basically ready to go. Don't need to do anything to it. And this one here, we're going to add some, some bell peppers. Just basic chopped bell peppers. And from there, some habanero sauce for me. Not exactly for everybody, but I tend to like things on the hot side. So that one is ready to go. And for our Mucho Macho Horacho Taco Tastico, we are going to use some chicken. <clears throat> some red onions. I love. I could put red, red onions in pretty much anything. Except for like ice cream or something like that, of course. And for this one here, I'm going to use some pico de gallo on top. And 
And just for a little love, some everyday, absolutely wonderful tapatio sauce. Look at that, baby. That is a beauty. I mean, I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to that. I think I better call my dentist before I take my first bite, though, because they are thick. And this is our cactus taco. And for this one here, we're gonna use some chicken. And of course, our cactus apple, which is absolutely delicious. It's a bright red, almost a, almost a hot pink fruit inside. And that one there, in order to taste the fruit, I really, I think I'm just gonna accent that one with just a little bit of habanero. Hopefully I don't come out uh, taco barracho when I'm done with this one because I'm not sure what kind of cactus they use, but if it's blue agave, that's what they make tequila out of. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the crunch test. We'll start off here with the, this is a, a wrap, a, a spinach wrap. Mm, mm, mm. How do you like that crunch? Delicious, huh? Okay, here we go. I hope I have dental insurance up to date. <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous on this one because the truth is, this is the very first time I've ever taken a bite of a taco that's this thick. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. All right. And last but not least, first ever cactus taco breaking new grounds. Look at that. It looks kind of plain, but it's made of cactus and cactus apple. Pretty cool stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and crunchy. Okay, that's it for taco making for the day, but since it's my birthday, Justin made me a special taco shell, especially for me, so I am going to add a little whipped cream, a little chocolate, a little caramel, and we're going to call that my birthday taco. Thank you, Justin. He's the one filming, by the way. Cheers to you, buddy. Mmm. Very good. Okay, happy Taco Tuesday, everyone. Have a great day.